regard what role is the Chamber of Commerce doing nationally and in the local areas to scale this in this kind of initiative and my second question is when you say we should improve we should use all the resources within our confines to make profit in what way as um, the institutions established by the government and federal agencies help Nigerian students to improve in skills and education in that most people are not familiar about digital entrepreneurship because Google didn't make it possible before now. They know about it now because Google is paying for it. Why hasn't the federal government made initiative to actually make this kind of change possible? Good afternoon. My question goes to the representative from the AEA. You know, I would like to learn fashion designing, hairdressing, one skill or the other as an undergraduate or even as a graduate. But the opportunity to learn it is not handy. Maybe there are places around where I could register, but the resources become something hard, difficult. Now, when you get a place where you could learn it at an affordable price, distance becomes a problem, a challenge. What is the AEC doing? AEA, yeah, what's the AEA doing to help the youth acquire these skills at a very affordable price? This, I know that if there's, a, if there's a policy or something put in place that will encourage these um, skills among youths and among students, by the time we come out of the university, we'll not be struggling with files along Abuja streets looking for jobs. Thank you. That's all. Good afternoon. My name is Musabwe Justus from Endo State. Um, Ma, you talk about uh, getting getting success from the waste and the rest of them, and leaving the government. In my location, where my school is located, I made a research about three particular things, and I have a business plan for the three of them. One happens to be poultry farming. The other happens to be uh, other agricultural work like pineapple farming, cocoa farming, uh, banga plantation, and the rest of them. And the other one was printing. In my location, within the four geographical area there, there is no uh, graphic design and print in that place. And I make uh, a business research, and I draw out a business plan on these three things. But the money that is needed, at least for the minimum startup capital, most especially for that agriculture, which happens to be either the poultry or the other one, is very, very high. And I can't afford this as a student. So in such a situation, what shall I do? Should I impose the duty upon my parents who are still trying to pay my school fees, or I should impose the duty on the government? Which of them should I do? Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Solomon Abortion is my name from Benue State University. I would like to ask uh, Dr. Mrs. Sonia the question. She already answered the question, but I was actually confused the more when she answered the question. Because I believe that um, poverty elsewhere is poverty everywhere. And the vicious cycle of poverty before you can break out of that cycle, you need an external force of intervention. How do you expect 
an average Nigerian who barely feeds, who barely afford up to a dollar a day to actually even uh, feed himself and to some extent is able to save before because before you can come up with a business idea you need to save you need to invest so if if we leave government out of the bid for fighting poverty even as an individual is that appropriate because considering the fact that poverty before you can break out of it, you need an external force. And secondly, there are certain government policies that directly or indirectly affect your bid for even entrepreneurship. For example, the issue of multiple taxation. I started up a business where before I made profit from the business, I was heavily taxed multiply. And that led to the to me leaving the business. These are government policies. So indirectly or directly, these government policies affect you even as an entrepreneur. So my question finally is this. Is there any is there any is there any uh, country in the world that has been able to fight poverty without government intervention? Is there any country in the world? Questions are all related, and I must first, you know, maybe should I say apologize that no, you don't, you don't preempt what I haven't said. That the government had indulged itself in doing business which it doesn't have any business doing, and that is why we have found ourselves where we are. I, talk, I talked about a bank of industries, bank of industry, and I said something. If you caught what I said, I said I saw them, I heard them saying they made profits. Are they a business concern? Do they have a right to make profit? So for goodness sake, and I must also point to you that Abuja Chamber of Commerce is non-governmental, is non-partisan. We're just advocating on behalf of business people like you. So our mandate is in advocacy. We talk up every single thing. And we're beginning to see that there's, they're having a paradigm shift. i give you a case study. The Russia-Africa Forum. Or I tell you that they don't even consult us when they take, they're trying to make policies and a couple of other things. But we had to force our way through. And the first case study is the Russia-Africa Forum that we attended with the head of state. We had to put out the list of things we would want the president to get out of that meeting. And that was what he presented. If you saw what the list were, they were coming from the organized private sector. And I think we should give government kudos for that, that they're beginning to listen. And by and by, we're trying to uh, introduce the Enterprise Nigeria policy, which is what? Exactly what you have just said. You have started business, blah, 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 blah. You don't even need money. All they give to you are the instruments you need to do this business. The, of, the office, the machinery, and maybe a token to, to pay your staff, and then they make sure that you do your business the digital way so that there can be some level of accountability. My first opening um, speech was saying it is the policies we find ourselves. We can't help it. We have to keep trying. And I tell you, there's no magician here. But by and by, I understand your plight, but I'm still also begging that we also make use of what we see around us. And you're talking about you need finances. I just introduced this to you. If you sell a thousand of these, you'll probably be having some few coins. 
But you, you think because you're in school, there's some things you should do and you shouldn't. I appreciate your position. And the young man with um, the agric thing, I would, after this uh, session, hand you my card. If you can check out the Benis, Benis, Edo State Chamber of Commerce, they will mentor you to where you wish to be. And then the fellow from the Amadu Bello University, who's done Waste to Wealth, yeah, you said you also need to promote it further. I'll give you my card. We have a couple of company, countries who are even interested in carrying this waste to world. India is one, Hungary is another, Russia is a third. So we would look for how to move you on. And the platform of the chamber is um, to handhold businesses to achieve greater heights and get you off the SME and put you in the medium enterprise level. And I hope that, um, Doctor, I also said that um, going forward, all students must be here. Not only economic students need to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And I'm also throwing a challenge. You must begin to bottle your water and begin to use waste food to generate energy here. I'm sure you have. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam DG, for that uh, very good one. Yes, um, the young lady that was asking the question about how she can learn a skill, right? Are you residing in Abuja or are you doing that on behalf of other participants? You don't reside in Abuja. Where are you coming from? Benway State. Okay. Not far from here, anyway. I, I wish you'd be lucky enough to get posted to the FCT to do your NYSE when you eventually graduate so that you can actually benefit from uh, the question you just ans asked. Yeah, that's right. Said, yes. The NYSE has a program on entrepreneurship called Said. But in any case, just to answer your question directly, uh, in Abuja Enterprise Agency, if you listen uh, attentively to uh, the paper I just delivered, the Honorable Minister of the FCT, understanding the challenges that has to do with um, finance for acquisition of skills, have provided enough resources to AEA to provide uh, skills, different kind of skill sets, ranging from carpentry, to uh, tailoring, fashion design, beauty and makeup, uh, spa uh, activities, uh, that has to do with body massage, and what have you. There's a whole range of skills that are on offer, skill acquisition training that are offered right there in AEA, where we have um, professionals who have been in practice of this, these different skill areas. They are master trainers. In fact, I stated in the uh, paper presented that within the past uh, one and a half years, we have been able to train nearly 2,000 young persons and adults, and indeed, prospective retirees from service. I was uh, speaking to uh, some group of coppers some time ago and um, one of them asked me the question, you are telling us to uh, go acquire skills, uh, that we should not be looking for elusive white collar jobs. He said, so why are you employed by government? It was a big question. But the answer is that even for those of us who are public servants or civil servants, we are also encouraged to uh, begin to look around our environment to get busy. You don't have to wait. I want to uh, support Madam DG of Abusima when she says, don't wait for government. Government are only policy makers. We have a responsibility as patriots to be able to help ourselves. We must not wait for government to feed us at all times. So for us who are in public service, yes, you may say yes, white collar jobs. We are also involved in businesses, in AEA, we have a principle and a policy where we say you don't give 
what you don't have. You cannot give what you don't have. You can't teach people the art of entrepreneurship without being an entrepreneur yourself. So we, in fact, part of the conditions of employment is that you must own a successful business in Asia. That's part of the conditions of employment. So that when you get there, since you want the issue of entrepreneurship and you know how it pinches and where it pinches, you are able to teach people the secrets of entrepreneurship. Okay? So, for us in AU, we are ready to receive you anytime. If you don't have aspiring entrepreneurs like you, the young lady, and so many of the participants here, then of course, AU has no business being there. So we are there to serve you. We invite you to uh, log in to the AU website. They say pictures don't tell lies, videos don't tell lies. You will be able to see some of the activities. In fact, as I speak, there's a free entrepreneurship training going on. As of last week, we had about four different skill sets being offered to trainees. So we're always there and we're ready to have you come on board. Thank you very much. Not only are we there to have you come on board, we also support those who participated and have shown seriousness with starter packs in their different skill areas. For those who are into business and makeup, we provide them the necessary skill set. For those who are into carpentry, we work with Bosch in collaboration to provide them with the necessary you know, uh, tools to begin their businesses. For those in fashion design and uh, what have you, we provide them with the necessary uh, tools to start. Their business. It's always good to think big, but we encourage real entrepreneurs while thinking big to start small. So you're welcome at any time. Our offices are open, our doors are open, our website is there for you to see that uh, we're not just here to uh, do the talk. We're ready at all times to also walk the talk. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it's very nice to hear, you know, this kind of commitment from the, the younger ones. I want to advise the, the, the young man from Edo State, it's always good to start, no matter how small it is. If you say you want to do poetry, you can even start with six bells. If you want to do farming, you can start with half a, half a plot of land. You can even start at the back of your house. You can do a little bit of, even if it is fishery, you can do maybe one small bowl. Because you need to show the people who want to invest in your business that you can do this. The practical aspect is what they want to see. You need to start small. You know, if you are able to keep maybe 50 belts, then definitely you might be able to have capacity to, you know, keep 200, 1,000 belts. So you need to start at a place. Otherwise, people who want to invest in you, they want to see what you have done or what can you do? It is very important for us to start, no matter how small. I remember when I was young, I was keeping uh, rabbits. I started from five. I didn't know when my rabbit turned to 200 rabbits. So you can always start small. And you know, you'll be shocked the way and manner in which the nature will bless you. Thank you very much. So like, commit yourself, everybody here. Yeah, when you go back, please start to rub it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please, and this team will be sounding a round of applause for this very important and dignitaries and personalities. We've had very interesting deliberations anchored by the foremost distinguished Nigerians. Please, another gigantic round of applause. We wouldn't like to take them any longer, take much of the time. We've come so very far. So far, so good. The remaining items are just two, and I'm going to round them up in the next five minutes. We'll give them awards of recognition, awards of respect by Ness and National, and then proceed into a brief uh, unveiling of the NESA 10 anniversary conference magazine published under the auspices of NESA Nigeria. On this note, may I invite the national president of NESA, Ibrahim Abdullahi Baizegi, 
please come forward quickly. Father, I invite uh, Mr. Obodo Bright, the Public Relations Officer One of Mesa National. I would like to further invite um, Adetunji Damilola uh, from Samuel Adeboyega University, the NASA president of that chapter, to please quickly come forward to help me deliver these sets of awards to these very important personalities as a way of saying thank you from NASA, Nigeria. Let me invite Mr. Adenuga Adeni. Uh, his own has been taken. Uh, okay, Mr. Chudi Azerigwe, the representative of Dr. Arabi Muhammad Tukur, MD and CEO of, of Abuja Enterprise Agency. Please help me deliver these awards. Um, Adetunji Damilola would present the award to Mr. Chudi as representative of Dr. Arebi Muhammad Tukur. I would like you to please come forward here for picture's sake. Good afternoon, everyone. Nigeria Economic Student Association, the national body. Award of Excellence presented to Dr. Aribi Mohamed Tukwa, Managing Director, Abuja Enterprises Agency, in recognition of your support, contribution towards the association as the guest speaker this day, 26th of November 2019. I present this to you on behalf of the National Board. Thank you, sir. Thank you on behalf of Nessa Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, in fact, Mr. Ovoto Bright, Public Relations Officer 1, to assist NASA in presenting the award of honor and recognition to Dr. Emmanuel Sotambe, ably representing the uh, Director of Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit, Mr. Mohamed Mohamed Tuku. Mohamed Tuku, Mr. Mohamed Mohamed Tuku. On behalf of Mesa National Body, we want to appreciate you. We uh, uh, want to appreciate uh, Mohamed Hamad, the director, chief executive of Ninja, uh, NFIU. Uh, although he was not here, but we appreciate your coming. Well, thank you very much, sir. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, all members uh, who are invited now, if you please stand and support your president, my president, our president, uh, Ibrahim Abdullah Mbenzeki, the very astute gentleman, handsome, good looking, and very confident, who has organized and put together this conference. <laughs> Don't mind me, I have not been right. I have not yet been um, <clears throat> Yes, we have two awards to be presented by the president to our uh, member. By extension, and our grandfather by extension. If I am a president, please help us as Mesa National President to present the Award of Excellence and Honor to Mrs. Tonya Shoyeme, the DG. And the Honor of Mesa National President. But that's no one's again. The Nigerian Economic Student Association National Body uh, today award you with um, award of excellence for your numerous contribution to the Nigerian economy on this day, 26 November 2019. Thank you very much for your We sincerely appreciate you. Thank you on behalf of Nigeria. Thank you very much. To present the last award, I've been directed to request the pleasure and solicit the indulgence of Associate Professor Glitch General, 
the Dean of Faculty of Social Sciences, Nile University of Nigeria, Abuja, Mr. Sonon, and we are flanked by the President of the University of Nigeria to assist us in presenting a man who, with so much respect, with so much applause, and with so much tech as our mentor in the Nigerian political economy discourse, Professor Mike Kamashi. The Minister of the Red Cross can accept this award as the man of the of Nigeria. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the NASA national body, we are presenting an award of excellence to Professor Mike Kwanashi in recognition of your support and contribution toward the association as chair chairman of occasion. This day, 26 November 2019. Thank you so much. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you on behalf of NASA Nigeria. Now we come to the last item. After the item, we allow everyone to take their efforts and then we move on to the next uh, segment of this important conference. All of us have left our various destinations to attend this important activity. to present an award of merit to Associate Professor of Glitch General, the Dean Faculty of Social Sciences, now University of Nigeria, Abuja, and the host in this very significant milestone in the achievement of NASA Nigeria. I've been informed to invite Mrs. Tumia to please help us in presenting Mrs. Mrs. Sonia. Mrs. Tonya. This is authoritative. Mrs. Tonya. Um, before, uh, before the presentation. Okay, it's working. Okay, before the presentation of this award, I would like to say one or two things about Dr. Glitch. Oh, Associate Professor Glitch. So uh, <laughs> I, I was given the permission to uh, give the opening remark for this very program. And when I came up here, I was actually blank for some moments <laughs> because I had so many things on my head, ranging from calls and other stuff, the phobia and all. But this man stood with me all through. He has been a mentor, a guide. Uh, indeed, I would have loved to give him, well, I, I can call him a Nigerian by extension because he behaves like a Nigerian man. And um, I really don't know how to appreciate you really uh, we are so grateful for all things you've done, the contribution, the stress, night calls, chats, and everything so much, sir. <laughs> Without you, I, I really don't think this conference would have been so successful as it is now. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, President. And I w I'm very honored, in fact, I'm proud to be standing before you. Professor is a very resilient and tenacious person. I've known him for two and a half, three years, and even when you want to say no, he doesn't give you room to say no. I tell you, I've been here since uh, quarter to 10, yeah. and my heart fails me to tell him I want to leave. But I have dedicated today to him, and it's my great honor on behalf of the National Nigerian Economic Students Association to present this plaque to you in recognition of your selflessness to this association. Congratulations and thank you on behalf of NASA Nigeria. Round of applause. You know, as master of ceremonies, when I was informed about two months ago that I was going to have on this very important occasion, I had to do my private assignment. I first began by Logging on to the website of Nile University of Nigeria, Abuja, I was going through the pages and came across the profile of Associate Professor of Glitch Gemino. I was so anxious that I wanted to meet this man in person. On arrival today, what caught my attention was his rare mark of humility and cordiality. And that is a very, very resounding characteristic 
of this gentleman. You know, in research design, in research analysis, there are two things involved. It's either you take a qualitative research discourse or you take a quantitative research analysis. Professor Glitch Jelilov is a man that is rare, who has rare mark of quality and quantity. You can believe that from his appearance. It is important at this juncture to proceed to the last item, which um, I have been given the express permission by the president. The last item is a launching of magazines marking the 10th anniversary conference, and of course, activities about NESA, the papers to be presented, and those which have been presented in today and the subsequent papers to be presented in the next uh, days in this conference. And I have now been informed to invite T9, I need your assistance here, to forward the parcel to Professor Mike Konashe as chairman of this occasion to officially unveil the magazines and then uh, provide copies to the members of the high table for an honorable, handsome launching by all members of the high table and, of course, members of the audience, my esteemed members of the audience. And lunch, sir. <laughs> so, yes. First of all, let's congratulate um, <coughs> the association for a well-organized 10th anniversary uh, for being able to put this uh, magazine together. I'm sure everybody in the room will try to get a copy, and I'm sure it will be of good. It will be an addition to the amount of material you've been exposed to. So I hereby open the package, and I hope and pray that it will come to you with the blessings of God. Say amen. Amen. So, madam, I'll give all of you a copy each, even those that have gone. We should also keep their copies for them, right? This is my own. Yes. We would appreciate it if we have yeah, a photo shoot. Especially, with especially the. Oh, okay. Uh, may you please rise and move to the please most humbly. Yeah. Those of you who want to take for your organizations too. Do you want for your organizations? But you lunch for them too. Okay. Organization. Ah, Chambers will give you more than one. Huh? We'll give you three. Three. Yeah, the old Chambers. Ah! Have to give them more. Well, on behalf of Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Prof, you know what we do. We would uh, get in touch with you as always. Let me just put it in an envelope like that. But uh, before the end of this week, you would have help from the Chamber. Hands on me. Other organizations. Well, um, as my as my people will say, I come from the uh, southeastern part of the country, and um, we we'll always say that uh, when your father gives you um, a rock of fire, you don't get scared because it's coming from your father. Uh, the message here is that um, my MDCU sent me here, and. Um, is a man who is known to be a supporter of good things, especially with respect to the subject matter of this course here, entrepreneurship and uh, poverty reduction, wealth creation, what have you. Definitely our relationship with Naira University is um, a living one, and uh, under the roof of Naira University, this conference is being held, um, is a relationship that uh, will continue to prosper. And on that note of prosperity, be sure that um, through the Nile University, we'll get in touch with NESA and 
handsomely launch uh, this magazine as is in the tradition of a year. Thank you very much. Nile University. As the giant private university in Nigeria, leading exemplary well after the luncheon. Okay, so my role here is going to be to collect envelopes and receive it to NASA. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a huge role. This is a huge role. <laughs> yeah, uh, first of all, I congratulate you people. Yeah, I don't want to discourage you people to, I mean, I always try to keep like, I mean, like 10,000. Uh, I, I don't want to say it, I mean, as a first, if you start with 10, you end up with 100 naira. So just wanted to leave it for big people, but because they're going to give it in envelope, it's going to be huge. So they already started. <laughs> so, so for NASA, I really want to congratulate you people. I mean, it's a good work. I'm going to go through it. Okay, me personally from the faculty, I'm going to deliver 10,000 naira. And wish you, wish you success. Thank you very much. That's very uh, astounding. Yes. Yeah. And I, I just want to be very diplomatic because I don't want to spoil your market. Maybe somebody want to mention a month. So that's why uh, I work for Intelligent Agency. We have budget for this to sponsor uh, st uh, organizations such like yours that are really very innovative in terms of uh, uh, improving economic development for the country. I will get back to my CEO and I'm sure he's going to uh, show his uh, kindness to the association. Uh, I will only advise you to ensure that uh, maybe you start following up on all these uh, pledge, pledges. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much indeed. You know, for some reason, for some reasons there are no need, there will not be the necessity to make formal announcements, but I always tell you that the food that is covered comes with the sweetest taste. Therefore, um, don't be discouraged by the uh, lack of announcements. Of course, they are going to be followed. That is going to be followed by very handsome donations by the grace of God. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, we have come to the concluding aspect of this first day, 26th day of November 2019. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was wrong. I was calling this, uh, this segment. Of <laughs> you are, sir. Okay, as I said, the uh, food that is covered normally <laughs> it's no, I better not cover my own so that it's not uh it only comes back to the world and it's a very big envelope. Well I will I will I've always tried to assist this organization both locally and nationally and I keep on doing it as long as I have the strength to. So today I will just pick up this copy for 50,000 miles. Thank you very much. Please give me a round of applause. I will not always be apologizing for the plate in particular. I think um, this is very, very clear to be done. As I was saying, this, is, this marks the end of the first the day of November 2019 as part of the opening ceremony activities and the first plenary session. We are going to reconvene immediately after lunch and uh, um, break for the concurrent session to start at what time? I think that will be on the dot.
Table 20 program on the gate as contained in the program operational program outline. I don't want to please uh, members of the high table, ladies and gentlemen, the way we are lying and remain standing as we have heard Nigeria's national anthem. Immediately afterwards, there is going to be a brief voting session, and then we allow the voting personalities of guests to exit first before two minutes exit for the 20 minutes break. Please, uh, let us remain calm. We must appreciate you. Thank you very much for your honesty, for your keen interest, for your silence and maximum cooperation towards the success of this activity. What do you need? Can I do one? Uh, and, Madam 